Well, let's just go through the footage and, and, and give you an idea of what it shows. Now, the footage is largely infrared footage. It's been shot at night. And as you can see over here, the footage shows, among other things, a Pakistani soldier being hit. Over here, you can actually see these launch pads. And in a moment from now, you'll see, as you over there, these launch pads being destroyed. Now, this is drone footage which was used over here. This is another area where this footage uh, was actually shown. Some of the footage was mounted on the helmets of the soldiers. Uh, some of the footage was mounted or came actually from drones. And as you can see, that dot in the bottom of your screen is that same area which was hit. But this is perhaps uh, the most telling video, uh, a big strike over there against uh, what appeared to be a Pakistani soldier or a Pakistani terrorist, and then he falls. And we're just looping this video again because there were only three or four areas where you could actually tell what was happening, and that was one of them. It became white on the outside, just, just black in those specific areas because it was infrared footage uh, which was shown. Now, uh, this footage uh, has resulted in a political storm of, of sorts. There has been widespread criticism of the government by many who say that the timing of the, of the release of this footage uh, is entirely political. It has been entirely done for propaganda purposes. Remember, there was a decision by the army soon after the surgical strikes took place to not release the footage. Why is it happening more than a year after the surgical strikes took place?